Ebony, always a pleasure speaking with you. Um, you know, we talk about this event that we're going to talk about, and of course you're going to mention what it is. Um, do you realize how important you are to this industry because of this event that you have created for, what are we looking at? Uh, definitely over two decades. 24. 24, wow. Rudy. Wow. Wow. So I don't think of it in terms of myself and my importance, but I definitely recognize the importance of the event, the legacy that it has left, and how it continues to have an impact on all of the participants. Of course, we are talking about Honey Jam. When you first gave this birth, I mean, what were your thoughts in the beginning on this, and why was it important for you to create this type of an event? Well, it kind of happened by accident. It wasn't a big plan. It was a, a rap party that was called Honey Jam, and it was supposed to be a one-off. And then I thought, well, let me just try it for a year, because people were so excited, and the young women didn't have another platform like this. And so one year turned into 24. And um, so, yeah, it was there, there was not a platform at that time, and also a safe space for women to um, express themselves, be themselves, be creative. Um, and we were very much um, more in the genre of hip-hop back in those days, and there wasn't a lot of space for women there at that time. Um, and then as we got into doing the shows, and I would see how naive a lot of the young women were and watching them being take adva taken advantage of, that's how we started doing the um, educational component. Uh, with the workshops and having people that cared about their development come and give them some of the knowledge that they needed so that they, you know, wouldn't blindly be signing uh, contracts and things. So let's explain. What is Honey Jam? How does this all work? So it's an all-female multicultural developmental program for young women. So we offer networking, vocal and performance training, songwriting, performance opportunities, um, networking. It's just a, a great kind of incubator. Um, so it's mainly for two months. That's the, the season, two to three months. But um, once you are part of it, it's like a sorority, and it's a lifetime thing. So this year we were asked to do a performance at the Toronto Life Annual Garden Party. And all of the alums that performed, some of them had performed seven years ago at Honey Jam, some of them five years ago, some eight years ago. So, And this happens quite often. We'll get opportunities and I'll just go into the honey pot <laughs> and see who's doing what. And um, every year they'll come back. Some of them come back as audition judges. Some of them come back as mentors. Some of them come back and just freshen up their knowledge at the different workshops that we do. So it's, it's a wonderful family that we have. But before they can become an alumnus or alumni, they have to be auditioned. How does yes. that work? So we have judges from all areas of the industry. We hold the live auditions in Toronto. You have one minute to prove yourself and then artists from outside of Toronto because it's for all of Canada, they send in um, an audition online. So we have an artist coming all the way from Newfoundland. We have one from Vancouver. Um, we have some from Ottawa. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very broad in terms of cultures, in terms of genres, and in terms of location. Now, as we speak, um, we're literally, what, uh, just about 24, 25 hours away from the showcase. No, don't showcase. remind me. <laughs> <laughs> what it just this, kind of snuck up. <laughs> what is this showcase all about? Why is this important? So it's the whole program that's important, and the culmination of the program is the concert. So it's almost like their graduation, you know, um, and this has been the whole point. Everything has led up to this point. Um, so there will be a lot of people from the industry there, there will be media there, there will be fans, friends and family all there to cheer them on. And um, yeah, this is their moment to shine, to introduce themselves to the world. 
And people should realize, too, when we're talking about this family, there are Grammy nominees, there are Grammy winners, there are Juno Award winners, there are Juno yes, nominees. Absolutely. I mean, there are some absolutely famous names winning some of the biggest prizes in music. Yeah, so of course we have Nelly Furtado, Julie Black, Melanie Fiona, Kelly Lee Evans, people like that. Um, and we have some up-and-comers that are really buzzing right now, like uh, Lou Calla, who did the iHeartRadio Fan Fest. Um, a number of artists uh, per, um, took part in the launch television series, like Severia, Divine Light Body. Um, one of our artists, Jordan Alexander, she has just started acting in a film with Juliette Lewis, her very first acting gig with a major movie star. And she also did a collaboration with Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh, my goodness. Now we're going to be talking at the Academy Awards to this. Oh, it just gets bigger <laughs> Yes, bigger. we are. And one of our alums is now a sought-after Hollywood director. Her name is Stella Maggie. She used to be a rapper when she did Honey Jam, and she's just gone on. She's featured in Variety. There's a great buzz about her. She's directed two feature films. Um, one of our other alums, so not everybody stays with singing, but they all um, go on to do great things. Uh, started another network, um, network of for women called How She Hustles for Female Entrepreneurs. Um, and... Uh, it, it just blows my mind. Like my head just spins. We can't keep up. <laughs> so we try to post on our socials about everything that they're doing. But, to, but, but it's impossible. <laughs> but to jump in, what's important is sponsorship to keep this going. How oh, does gosh, yes. get to help? Uh, well, please contact us. <laughs> Go to honeyjam.com, contact us. It is very much... Um, a challenge every year, but even more so with what's happening with the Ford government and their drastic cuts to arts and culture and basically to everything. Um, but yeah, a lot of our funders, their funding from the province has been cut drastically and all of us are, you know, trying to keep our heads above water. Absolutely. For young ladies who want to try to be part of this amazing family maybe next year, what can they do? They should follow us on IG at The Honey Jam and check out our page, see what we're all about. They should go to our website, honeyjam.com, contact us through there, and um, just stay tuned. We'll announce whenever we're going to have auditions. Next year is our 25th anniversary, so we'll be doing some very special things for that. And in the meantime, for folks who want to be at this show, where is it going to be at and how do we get tickets? It's at the Mod Club, which is at 722 College Street, door 7, showtime 8 o'clock. You can pay at the door. That will be the best thing to do. Um, and we look forward to seeing you there. Ebony, try to get some rest. Looking forward to the amazing show, but more importantly, just looking at all the amazing things that you have done and keeping this industry alive. Thank you so much, and thanks for the support over the years.